What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fortnite Battle Royale on Black Tide TV. In today's episode, Fortnite Season 4. So unfortunately, because of my working living situation, I was unable to get my hands on Fortnite Season 4 from the get-go. While so many players have been playing this game religiously for 4 or 5 weeks now, I've only recently begun playing again. Of course, I put a ton of hours into Fortnite Season 3 and I had a really great time with the game at that point. It's just because I got really, really busy, and now I'm trying to grind my little tushy off to get caught up on my battle pass. Of course, I purchased the battle pass for season four. I always purchase the battle pass. I think it's an amazing bang for your buck. And even if you are going to put any money into Fortnite before you buy any crazy skins, I would definitely recommend you pick up the battle pass because it's just such a great commercial value and there should be a battle pass or something similar implemented into almost any game that provides microtransactions such as call of duty but that is a topic for another day in today's video i'd love to give you guys my first impressions or something similar for fortnite season 4 because of the differences that i've noticed from my time returning to fortnite a lot of players are taking these changes for granted because they have been with the changes as they come. Whereas if you take some time off from Fortnite and come back even a month later, you will notice some massive changes because the game is constantly evolving. That is a good and a bad thing. The biggest problem that I've found with Fortnite Season 4 is the player base itself. And I'm not saying that you guys that are loving your Fortnite are bad players by any means. I'm saying the overall skill level of players has increased to a point where the game is no longer enjoyable for fresh players. And that is where Fortnite is going to start peaking very soon. But I'd also like to talk to you guys about the new cosmetics, the themes of Fortnite Season 4, and so many more things. So... We're going to hold off on the major harsh criticisms until the end or about the midpoint of the video. I'd like to get into some of the more fun, creative things like the theme of Fortnite Season 4 is really cool. This superhero, supervillain theme with the Omega and the Carbide outfits. I was hoping to get a little more out of the superhero theme. The superhero theme, of course, came far out of left field, in my opinion, for Fortnite Season 4. We knew the meteor was coming for a very long time, and I think a lot of the community was expecting an alien kind of vibe for Season 4. I was really hoping for alien tech, alien uh, weapons, and alien kind of... A, an alien situation for Fortnite Season 4 and the Battle Pass and all the outfits. But I guess, to be fair, Fortnite Season 3 was the astronauts and the space warfare kind of stuff so it does make sense that they're not going to do too much space in a row and they did take some time off from space which is cool and they went with this superhero thing instead which also ties into the meteor idea i love the idea of the meteor craters all over the map and the hop rocks giving us new different gameplay tactics as well as new transportation elements so there's a lot of really cool things that they've implemented with this superhero theme one of my favorite things is the upgradable character designs so with carbide and omega the only two outfits so far that have this as far as i know you can unlock further outfit modifiers which you can modify your body armor with very very cool idea makes the idea of of skins just go a little farther because some of the skins you get them and you're like yeah this is the coolest thing ever and then they release another one that's a little bit cooler and suddenly your skin is completely obsolete whereas with skins that you can constantly upgrade and unlock new things for i think that gives us a whole lot more to look forward to in fortnite because now we have challenges to unlock each part of our skins. I just wish that some of the skins that you can buy from the item store would have upgradable elements as well. As I've said, the new map layout is very cool. They've implemented a couple other things that people don't seem to talk about as often as, of course, the meteor craters and the hop rocks. Dusty Divot is a new thing that's pretty big. A lot of players tend to go there, although I think it's dying off already. A lot of players are simply returning to Tilted Towers once again, which is unfortunate. I was hoping for Tilted Towers to take the Meteor, but Dusty Depot was one of my biggest complaints from Fortnite in the past, and how low key it is like a lot of people don't like Dusty Depot. Not a lot of people went there. There wasn't a whole lot of loot. And now with Dusty Divot, 
they've kept a lot of what Dusty Depot was, and they've also included the Dusty Diva area, and there's this new scientific area, and there's a ton of chests there, there's a ton of different cool little uh, areas to explore. But my favorite parts of the map to explore are two evil layers is what I would call them or secret bases so there is one just outside snobby I think it's actually the location of one of your treasure map battle stars I think it's the season or the week five battle star for the map in greasy grove leads you here right outside snobby there is a mountain and on that mountain there is a very very large kind of secret base there's a missile silo built in and there's just some really really cool elements there that i wasn't expecting to see another one that i really like is near lonely lodge there's a large mansion that you can actually spot on the mini map when you are dropping in you can see this mansion it's kind of to the south of lonely lodge and if you explore through that mansion enough you will find an underground kind of waterfall area with a whole bunch of secret labs and it's just like a super cool secret super villain lair and these are the coolest parts of the map in my opinion yes the meteor craters are there but in all reality they're just craters but these new kind of elements that they've added in as part of this superhero theme are super cool. They've added a couple new weapons like the FAMAS. I'm very happy with that. I'm a big fan of burst fire weapons in general. And the burst fire weapons in Fortnite up until this point haven't been too great. So I am really enjoying the FAMAS. It isn't as powerful as the SCAR if you guys haven't yet noticed. The SCAR is still the big Mac daddy of the weapons of the assault rifles in the game. I shouldn't say of all the weapons because of course the pump shotgun is back. Double pump is back and almost every single player knows this and will be using double pump against you. It's really quite toxic and that is where we're getting into our skill gap and the competitive players of Fortnite Season 4. I feel that Fortnite is slowly becoming less fun to play, especially in solo modes, because of how competitive the average player is. Way back, Fortnite used to be a very, very casual game. You'd have a lot of casual gamers that didn't even know how to build. And now at this point, you're running into almost every single 1v1 gunfight being a build battle, even on console. I play on PlayStation 4, and you can see even in this video that there are a ton of build battles happening. And the second you start getting shot at, people are building up. The average player is getting better at Fortnite, and that is making the game a little bit more difficult to play, a little bit more difficult to enjoy, unless you are playing in squads and when you're hanging out with your friends, that's always a much better experience because you guys can goof off, you can work together. But when you're playing solos, and especially the showdown limited time mode, where it is very competitive, and I believe they're also trying to implement a new ranked mode into Fortnite, that's going to be very, very crazy as well because you're going to see a lot of extremely competitive players. The game is getting out there. A lot of players are having their hands on access. I feel like I've heard something about them bringing the game to Nintendo Switch as well. So, so many players have their hand in this game and the competitive players are kind of taking that hand away from the game. They're really making the game like, yeah, no, it's fun and all and you can enjoy it, but we're going to kick your ass anyways. The skill gap is just getting larger and larger, and I am actually a half-decent player at this game. I've taken some time off, so it's taken me a little bit to kind of get my head around it again, but I am a fairly skilled player at this game, I would say so at this point, and I'm finding it quite difficult to even pick up any wins or anything like that in solo game modes. I've noticed that they're trying to implement things to make the game better, such as transportation, they've included the jetpack, the shopping cart is a fairly new addition where you can push the shopping cart around and that's again something that's really fun if you have a squad and you're playing together laughing, joking, but if you're trying to play the game and get wins, you're going to notice that a lot of people don't even pick up any of this new stuff. The jetpack, the, unless they're really good at using the jetpack, the shopping cart, you'll see a lot of players completely ignoring the fun elements of Fortnite. What made Fortnite so much fun in the first place? They're ignoring those for really toxic kind of play styles like double pump and just picking up the best weapons and using those best weapons. Of course, you are looking for the best weapons when you are playing a battle royale mode. But you can also just take it easy and not try to be the sweatiest tryhard ninja of the entire world. Not everyone needs to be the best in this game, and some of us are just trying to enjoy the game, which is where I feel like maybe if they did implement a rank mode, it would be better. 
so that the really sweaty tryhard players of the world can go over there and leave the rest of us that just want to play the game for enjoyment's sake alone. Because solo at this point, right now Showdown is taking a lot of the hardcore players away, but solo at this point is, it kind of blows. And squatting up is the only bearable option in my opinion. But that is all I had to say on Fortnite Season 4. The thing is, I love this game and I do like the implementations that they're making. I do like how they're changing things up and they're trying to add new things and new things to explore and new things to try out like the shopping cart. If only I didn't get completely massacred the second I turn around. Oh look, there's a shopping and I'm dead. I'm trying to push the shopping cart around, trying to figure it out, and I'm dead. I pick up a hop rock, and I'm like, okay, let's try this new hop rock thing, and I jump two feet in the air, and then someone starts shooting at me from across the map. Like, people are so competitive in this game at this point. So many people just want the win, and it's taking the enjoyment out of the game for me. But Season 4, they are making some very cool improvements. Let me know what you think of Season 4 in the comment section down below. What's your favorite skin from the new Battle Pass? Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.